Hello and welcome back. In this session, we're going to look at uh, a return parameter inside of a store procedure in SQL. Okay, uh, so you can see here I've set up, uh, I'm in uh, SQL uh, Server Management Studio. Um, I have a table here I created called uh, TBL Friends. Okay, so let's just have a look and see what's in this. Okay, um, so we'll just say, uh, sorry, let's see, uh, let's just select, just click in here, uh, select uh, all from friends, our TBL friends, TBL, and friends, friends here. Okay, and we'll just execute this. And you can see there at the bottom uh, the results. Okay, so you can see it's a table. Okay, I have friend ID as the identity column. Okay, I have name, gender, and city. Okay, and what I want to be able to do here is select. Okay, I, what I'm going to do is create a store procedure. Okay, which will select. Uh, I can do first of all count how many people I have in the database. Okay, I also want to be able to sort, okay, either how many people are male or how many are female. Okay, how many are from Dublin or how many are from Cork. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll do a little exercise in this and see how this runs. Okay, so let's start off by creating a store procedure. Okay, uh, we'll have here a uh, create. Okay, proc. Again, whether you write proc or uh, procedure, you'll get the same thing. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, uh, friends. Okay, by gender, say. Okay, uh, again, you can call it anything you like. Uh, okay, now again, in order to find out how many people are male or female within my table, uh, I need to pass in a parameter. Okay, and again, uh, look at this. So again, I'm going to have to pass in. Okay, and I'll call this gender. Okay, and what type of data is it? And we can see over here it's an NVAR chart 50. So N A R C H A R and 50 there. Okay. Uh, so you can see there I've passed in a parameter. Uh, however, what this uh, video is about is, um, is, is output parameters. Okay. Uh, and again, so even though I pass in a parameter like uh, how many people are male, uh, what I need to find out is, again, it's going to have to sort through the, uh, the, the list. Okay. And then return about uh, how many are male or how many are female. So I need to put that in as uh, an output parameter. Okay, so again, uh, my at, and I'll give this a name. I'll call it uh, uh, male count. Uh, a, uh, so I'll call this male count. Okay, the type of data it's going to be, well, it's going to count something, it's going to be an int. So an int. Okay, and it's going to be output. Okay, so again, uh, my store percentage is created. That's what I'm going to pass in. And I want a, uh, a value, uh, sorry, a parameter called, an output parameter. I've called it male count. Okay, and that's going to uh, uh, count how many people are in the data database by mail. Okay, and return that value in, in, in that parameter. Okay, so let's uh, write it as, as it should be. Okay, so as, okay, we put our begin and our end. Okay, so begin and end. And uh, what we're putting in here is, uh, again, let's uh, first look at, uh, let's um, uh, select uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, count itself from the actual field. Okay, so uh, I'll select, I'll select, let's see, L. Type in talking. Okay, select. Okay, and I want to select the count. Okay, and that's the count of. Uh, uh, let's see, first, many people are uh, in it. Uh, okay, uh, who, are, who are male. Okay, so select uh, count. Count. Okay. That's caps. Okay, count. Okay, I want to count the whole lot. So 
star in there. Okay, uh, so count the whole lot. Okay, and then return to me. Okay, uh, okay, from the table. So from. Okay, uh, TBL. TBL. Friends. Okay, uh, where? Okay, where again the uh, the the where the gender okay is equal to male. Okay, so again, where and what I'm looking at here, the gender here, this value over here, and the this one here. Okay, so where gender okay uh, equals okay, I'm going to put in male. Uh, so let's um, uh, first of all let's uh, execute this. Okay, so you can drag over that, uh, execute that command, and you can see there in the database this three males. Okay. And let's just look at our database again, select that, execute that, and you can see one, two, three. So we know that this is working. Okay, so how, uh, how again, you wouldn't really hard code anything into a database like this. So we want to use our mail count. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. So select, okay, mail count. Okay, so paste that in, add mail count. Okay, uh, where that is equal to okay and uh, the count okay uh, and again um yes it will work fine with star but i'm going to put friend id in there for the identity field and id friend id okay again uh, you know just say I, I find it's better to actually use the identity field okay uh, uh, because we'll count the identity field then rather than all. Okay, yeah. Uh, so select a uh, mail count where that, okay, uh, from table friends, so that's grand where it is. Okay, uh, where gender equals. Now remember up here at the start, we said, well, we're going to pass a value in, and that value will be gender. Okay, so as I said there, you would really hard code in mail there, so use the passed in value, okay, which is at gender. Okay, and again, uh, what I can do now is uh, I'm going to test this store procedure. But first of all, I'm going to save it. So I'll click and drag over my uh, store procedure, click execute. Okay, just a quick problem there. Let me just check. Ah, uh, yes, when I was uh, setting this up, I just tested this up. I'll just rename that procedure. I'll call it my friend by gender. Uh, I set it up just to test it earlier on. Okay, so do that again. Click and drag over that. I'll just rename it to my friend because I had a friend by gender already there. Execute that, and you can see there that the commands have completed successfully. Okay, so how can we test this? We can test this by declaring another variable and passing in the value gender uh, there. Okay, uh, so we may want, okay, this value. Again, this is a, a, a returning a value. So now mail.count has a value, and that value at the moment is 3. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare, let's see, declare, okay, um, uh, maybe should we put those in caps, but I'm typing and talking. Okay, uh, let's say I call this, um, uh, so we yeah, call it my friend or male, I, male, male count. Okay, so I'll just call it male. Well, it, could, it might be a man, might be a single parameter female. So I'll just call it uh, uh, GEN for gender count. Okay, so again, I'm declaring a variable called uh, gender count. Okay, and that has to be the same type as my output here, which is int. Okay, uh, so what I want to do is now execute the store procedure. So I'll have a. Uh, uh, execute, okay, and what the, I want to execute this store procedure here. Just to, again, we're testing to make sure that this store procedure works. Okay, uh, so and uh, what do we have? Where at friend count here, or our mail count here, okay, is going to be equal to the the parameter variable I've just created here called gen count and this will be output ok 
Okay, uh, but, uh, again, this will still work if you just use the command out. Okay, so out or output, whatever you want to use there. Okay, and uh, finally we'll have. Uh, sorry, mistake. And finally we'll have uh, print. And uh, what I want to print is the gen uh, count, okay, which is here. Okay, so in order to uh, really at this stage now, we would have had a form created maybe in C sharp. Okay, which I'd be able to pass in the value of male or female and then test this out. Okay, however, I can pass it in here. So let me just do that. So I'll pass in uh, at gender, at gender, uh, and that is male. Okay. Okay, uh, so that's uh, let's execute this uh, uh, one here. Now let's see how we do. Okay, so we'll execute that and we get the value three. Okay, which is exactly what we were expecting to get. Okay, uh, so again, this is where we have a stored procedure, which is here. Okay, uh, so again, I'll just uh, okay. Um, okay, so this is start of my stored store procedure. Okay, and uh, this is the end of it. Okay, uh, so here's my storm procedure. Okay, here is where I've declared uh, a very uh, parameter called gen count, which is taking the value of uh, male count here, okay, and passing it into gen count, okay, as output. Again, we've just passed in the, the variable here. If you wanted to keep gen count as a, a variable or parameter, okay, you can just take that out there. Okay, and use then gen count if you want it as part of the uh, actual procedure itself. Okay, uh, that's uh, a, just a quick exercise there on output parameters, okay, inside a store procedure. Okay, our next video will be on, uh, we'll look at scope identity and at that scope. Okay, thank you for your attention.